So if you're buying for the first time, where is the best place or best places to buy a house for the first time in Virginia Beach? Well, that's what we're talking about today. Five neighborhoods that I think you would be interested in if you're buying as a first time home buyer in Virginia Beach. And we're starting right now. Hey, my name is Sam Sansalone and I'm a real estate agent in the Hampton Roads area. That includes Virginia Beach and it goes through Williamsburg and I do videos every week about living and moving to the area. So today we're talking about my five neighborhoods that I think if you're buying as a first time home buyer in Virginia Beach, these are the places I would check out first. These are in a price range under around $500,000, you know, as low as in the 200s. I wanted to focus on these uh, price ranges uh, and give you kind of an assortment. So if you're looking at each price range, you'd have some options to choose from. So we're gonna go through the whole area. Number one is going to be Ocean Lakes. And so Ocean Lakes uh, is an awesome spot if you're looking for a a house that has great functionality uh, and a variety of sizes and also newer. And thing I can show you on the map where this is, it's just south of Dan Neck Road. You'll see this area right around here. It's Ocean Lakes. It's got a lot of lakes uh, close to the Dan Neck base, uh, just west of there, but also just southeast of the Oceana Naval Air Station. So you're just a hop, skip and a jump to the beach going further north up closer to Croatan and the ocean front. Uh, but this whole section here, you're very close to shopping. Going further south, you got Red Mill Commons down here. All your stuff, Target, Home Depot, you know, Walmart, uh, and your smaller places, and some great restaurants too, all in the Red Mill area. One of the things you'll find in Virginia Beach is that uh, a lot of the area is older, built in the 50s, built in the 60s and 70s, and sometimes even in the 80s. But as time goes on, there's just less uh, newer construction being built. Uh, and so it's hard to find those newer houses, new-ish houses, uh, in places that are also in you know high demand or close to the beach. Well, Ocean Lakes is an area that I like a lot. As you'll see here, you'll see a little bit newer-ish house style uh, in these, these, this neighborhood. Well, that's important because the sizes of these houses can vary. You can see them anywhere as low as like 13, 1400 square feet and upwards of just over 2,000, 22, 2300 square feet. So you can get a variety, three or four bedrooms primarily, but the price ranges can be also in like the mid 300 price range, upwards into the four and closer to five. But because if you want a, like a this first functional house, like three bedrooms, 15, 1600 square feet and the under 400 price range, this is a great opportunity. And again, a lot of these the spots that you could alternatively buy in the same price range and the same size are usually older houses so if you want something newer i like the idea of ocean lakes for this reason now this isn't like brand new these are still built in the 90s you know in the 80s uh late 80s but you'll find again you'll see the the floor plans get a little bit uh, kind of more contemporary compared to other parts of virginia beach so i like that a lot if you want that type of floor plan and flow to your house it's got a lot of accessibility it's like 12 15 minutes away from the beach you're also close to two uh, bases you've got the oceana naval air station and dan neck uh, which are both very close to ocean lakes and also you're pretty close to red mill commons or red mill there's a lot of shopping and so you could live your whole kind of your whole ecosystem could be built around the red mill area and also, as the time has gone by, uh, in the time period of these were built, you're starting to see a lot of the old, the more expensive systems like HVAC, roof, uh, and water heater, windows, be replaced uh, over time. So now the houses that are being sold now uh, in these neighborhoods, a lot of the systems have already been redone. So you'll be buying into a, a house that has a lot less of those high dollar cost items to do right away. So I like that too. Now it also has an HOA, which is not a very high cost HOA. It's got park access and pool access. And so that in and of itself, uh, because you have a low cost HOA, it gives you an opportunity to get a pool uh, without having to pay a ton for it. Now, in addition to that, you've got townhouse style uh, attached houses and some condos. These are in the two to 300 price range. And then the townhouses are in the like the upper twos to low 300 price range. Uh, but these are also a little bit smaller, like 15, 1600 square feet. So this gives you an option for a little bit lower price range as well and still be in the same Ocean Lakes area. School districts also check a ton of boxes. Ocean Lake School District is a high demand area. That's a huge deal. Because one of my suggestions is if you're buying for the first time and you want to keep you know, a, a property in your, your family for a long time, I love the idea of renting it. And an opportunity to rent in Ocean Lakes is really high. Now, there's some drawbacks here too. Number one is the jet noise. It's, you're close to the Oceana Naval Air Station, which is a high, dem high demand thing. But at the same time, the noise, because you're so close, it can be a bear. And so that in and of itself can 
become a problem. If you don't like jet noise, definitely research this beforehand. Another drawback here is that you'll find some of these will still have the, the polybutylene piping or Quest piping. And this is pipe that was installed in the time period that these houses were built and um, they, it was known to rupture. And so there are different phases to this Quest piping and not all the phases have the same concern. Uh, so the idea of you know, hearing Quest or polybutylene piping just because you hear it does not mean necessarily that it's going to become a big problem, but you have to definitely do some research here. When you get your home inspection, find out if uh, there is any polybutylene piping in the house uh, and that might affect insurance. Now let's go to number two. Let's shift over towards the oh, kind of the central and western side of Virginia Beach in a neighborhood that I, one of the, to me, the best bang for buck neighborhoods anywhere in Hampton Roads I love it, is called Brigadoon. And Brigadoon is just off of Indian River Road and Kimsville Road um, near this, see this road called Albright Drive? That goes right straight through it. So uh, there's some on the, just north of it and south of it. These neighborhoods, uh, this area around here is awesome. And the reason I like this neighborhood is because it's close to it's like the Red Mill of the West, which is near Indian River and near uh, Providence. Being close to the uh, shopping areas near Providence and Indian, Indian River, you know, great uh, grocery stores. Here is Teeter, Kroger, um, close to here, but also close to Greenbrier, which is only like about 10 minutes uh, further the other, other direction uh, over and towards Greenbrier Mall and Best Buy Target that way. You're going to have a lot of a uh, lot of opportunities for shopping on both sides of you and not too far away. In addition to that, the houses in here are very functional. You'll see houses a little bit older, like the 80s and, and prior, uh, and this can affect the floor plan. Uh, but these houses in, in the neighborhoods in here are extremely established, which is why I like it. The trees are awesome, mature trees. Uh, and so as you drive through the neighborhood, it just feels very quiet. Um, you'll find a mixture of ranches and two-story, three-bedroom, four-bedroom, you know, like 17, 1800 square feet, but you can get some like a little bit smaller, in the 2,000, 25, even 2,800 square feet in some some cases, closer to 3,000. But you can get a you know like a lower, like a little smaller functional three bedroom house for in the 350, 375 uh, the start price range, and then you can go into the fours and get something a little bit larger, you know, 2,500 square feet, 22, 28. So you get a balance, and but you're, what you're paying for, you're not going to be paying as much as if you go towards like the east, like towards Great Neck. This same house would be a lot more expensive in the, that part of the area and so a lot of people in here have been here for decades and so people that sell houses in here that have been here for a long time they may have like really really well maintained houses in here and you might be buying a house that might be dated but has a lot of those newer systems uh like the the roof hvac etc all paid for recently uh and you know you don't have to pay for those for a long time you might need to do some updating to, to some of these houses that have been you know lived in for 40 plus years but the benefit is again you're, you're you know what you're paying for like the, there are less surprises with some of these houses especially the ones that have just been really well maintained and so i love these these houses for that reason too you also can find like sometimes some some a little bit sneaky larger lot sizes too which i like too so uh, i really like brigadoon for these reasons but there's some drawbacks one is the as you get older in in time in these these uh, houses you'll find that the, the floor plans are more boxy so you'll find a little bit more traditional floor plans so people have often opened them up uh, but not all of them have cast iron piping can be an issue in some of these older houses uh, and it's like so for your drain lines uh, those over time can can uh, deteriorate from the inside and so you may have to replace that now we're going to shift our attention just barely north crossing over indian river road into a neighborhood that I think is really sneaky good uh, going over towards Farrell Parkway and it's a neighborhood called Indian Lakes. So Indian Lakes is fantastic for a couple of different reasons. Number one is it's just off of Indian River Road and Kempsville Road. So you are real close to everything. You're also close to 64, which I didn't mention in Brigadoon, but you're close to 64 here. The interstate, which takes you towards the bases, up towards Navy Base up here, and also going towards Chesapeake as well. So you have accessibility very, very uh, in, in spades, I would say, uh, around Indian Lakes. They're in the 80s style, not brand new, but they can feel a little bit newer. Like these floor plans have a little bit more contemporaneous to them as opposed to a place like Brigadoon. And you also find some that are a little bit smaller. So again, if you want that starter house, that 15 square foot house you can find some in Indian Lakes in the mid 300 price range Indian Lakes you can find anywhere in the mid threes upwards into the fours but you don't really see as many capped up in the high range because a lot of these houses are a little bit smaller 
these houses are also on smaller lots. So if you don't want a smaller lot, this might not be as good of an option for you, but it depends on the location in the neighborhood. Another benefit is it's in the Salem High School District. So if you want to, uh, you know, if you're going for school districts, benefit here. Also rentability can be great. And also in here, there are several neighborhoods that are townhouses or condos. So you can get townhouses in here in the mid 200s, upper 200 price range. Uh, and you can get also some condos that are even lower than that in the 175 200,000 price range, uh, but the drawback there is the condo fees are a lot higher. Price range might seem more deceiving because you're paying more in fees, it's like $250, $300 or more dollars a month in those HOA or condo fees. But the townhouses, I think, are very functional floor plans. Again, you can be in the mid to upper two price range or low 300,000 price range to be in here. And so uh, if you want a place you can buy and then rent it out as a long-term uh, investment property, great opportunity in the Indian Lakes area uh, that's in this section, townhouses or even the single family house houses in the 300s and 400s. Now we're going to go further up north. Now, if you're going to be looking into the Little Neck area or that whole northern section of Virginia Beach, there's a neighborhood that I like a lot that is a bit on the higher price range, which is King's Grant. Most of King's Grant I'm not talking about here because the prices are getting a little bit higher. If you want to buy in here as a first timer, I think it's fantastic. It's a great location, uh, but you'll be more on the fives and sixes plus in the primary, in most of King's Grant, like in this central section, heading up northern towards Little Neck. So if you want that, I'm all about that location big time. But if you want a little bit cheaper, like in the fours and threes, you can go further down south into the, small, the, the uh, further south part of, of Kings Grant, closer to Virginia Beach Boulevard, in, it, uh, in this section down the south part near Edinburgh Drive, and over towards the west side, which is an area called Malibu. Malibu is a little bit cheaper, but you can find them in the threes and low fours in Malibu. But again, going over into the south part of, of Kings Grant, these are still going to be in the mid a 400 price range down into like the low fours uh, and even sometimes in the high threes every once in a while you might find a smaller house in here in that price range but this will give you access to Little Neck. It's a very nice established area. The neighborhood's very established, but you're also very close to the Virginia Beach Boulevard, which has a ton of shopping, a ton of shopping. Uh, and then going further towards the uh, beach, your easy drive to the beach. Like you just stand on, on uh, the boulevard, it go, head towards Alaskan or towards uh, 264, and you can get to the beach in a matter of like 13 to 15 minutes uh, in different parts of it. But then if you go over towards from, uh, from Little Neck and Kings Grant over towards uh, the town center area, you're like 10 minutes away from town center, downtown Virginia Beach, not like Norfolk. It's not that big, but it's fantastic. I love it. And restaurants, shopping, Target, you know, Walmart's near there. Uh, Wegmans is there. Good grief. Wegmans, for goodness sake. So you're very close to a lot of that kind of stuff. I think it's great to be that close uh, to a town center. So in that southern part of, of a Little Neck in Kings Grant, the south part of Kings Grant is what I like the most for that reason. Now, doesn't mean you can't go higher, go further further north. Uh, but as you go further north, you'll find the prices will increase into the fives and sixes and up. Now, it depends, too, on which part of the neighborhood it might be a little bit more expensive. As you go further uh, into the Kingston Elementary School section, that's where you'll find a little bit higher prices, too. So Kingston's over on the western side of Kings Grant, uh, which this area is, again, fantastic. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive. But if you want that specific school district, I would definitely encourage checking out that, that area as well. Now, the same goes with Malibu. Malibu is just across the road on Little Neck. It's it's kind of Little Neck. I don't know if you'd call it that or not. I guess you could say it really is, but it's not tr like proper Little Neck to me. Uh, but it's just off the side road. A little bit smaller houses. Uh, you know, again, you'll find them in a little bit cheaper though. Three seventy five. 400 you might find them a little bit higher a little bit lower you know as you get closer towards like the water they're going to be a little bit higher too like in the fours and, and up you'll see see them higher into the fives as you get and up as you get closer to the water one of the benefits too is you're literally behind Kroger and Home Depot. So hardware stuff, shopping, uh, grocery stuff, and also Sam's Club and Harris Teeter across the street. You're literally right down the street from there. Now, the drawback here is that you'll find that these are a little bit older, 70s for the most part. You'll see even in the 60s as you get into the rest of parts of Little Neck and, and Malibu, but mainly in the 70s uh, time period. So I think uh, you'll find that the, the floor plan's a little bit older, a little bit more boxy, and so you might, might find you might want to do some alterations if you want a little bit more open floor plan. Now, that brings me to one more that I think is is newer house 
great location, Salem High School District, and a variety of sizes and options to choose from. In a neighborhood that has an HOA that's not very expensive is Glenwood. And Glenwood is, like I said, in the Salem School District. It's a pretty big neighborhood, and it's just south of Lynn Haven Parkway uh, and like near Farrell Parkway and Eden River Road going further south. This area right here, and this is Glenwood right here. And it's a pretty big neighborhood. You can find condos in here in the two, three hundred, hundreds price range with condo fees. It can be a little expensive, uh, but two bedroom, three bedroom. The single family houses you'll find that are anywhere from like the mid to upper 300 price range to start. Then you go into the fours and now you'll start seeing some creep it pack pass up into the five range, uh, depending on the size and condition and location in the neighborhood. But for the price and the openness and the more contemporary floor plan, I like this area a lot for what you're paying. You're also getting the HOA. It's not a high cost HOA and you can also get the community association and the pool. So that is another benefit. So you don't have to be uh, uh, buying a house with a pool unless you want to. Uh, you can get that HOA access too. And you're also close to the golf course, the Hemi golf course. There are some houses on the golf course, but it feels extremely quiet on the neighborhoods, a little bit more of a cookie cutter style, which is one of the things I don't like about this neighborhood. I don't like that feel. And as you get into the 90s time period, which is when these houses were primarily built uh, you'll just see a mixture of that kind of that over and over again that style that's just all right we've seen this before let's just cut it out with the same styles but you know the aesthetic the uh, the consistency of the neighborhood can be appealing to a lot of people especially if you're trying to buy in this this price range in the 400s price range because it's just hard to find this type of aesthetic in this price range another alternative uh, that's higher price is courthouse estates which is further towards the uh, east uh, but it's more, more expensive in the fives and sixes now the drawbacks here are that you'll see some houses in here still don't have all their their more expensive systems were being replaced because there's just they're just right at that time where they might be trying to you know let that hvac system last another two or three years trying to get stretch out those windows the, the roof so you might be, be finding if you buy into glenwood you might be finding there are more upfront costs uh, that you might not have wanted to pay for depending on the house that you pick so keep that in mind when you're buying in glenwood also one of the drawbacks locationally is that it's further away from the interstates so if you look at the uh, the roads, the road system here, Any River Road and Lynn Haven Parkway, those are the two primary roads closest to you, as well as Salem Road. Uh, and you're close to a lot of stuff as far as shopping goes, but if you wanna get out towards Norfolk or out towards the beach even, out towards uh, uh, Chesapeake, it's a little bit further drive if you wanna to get to further parts away from the area because the interstate is much farther. And so it's gonna take you like upwards of close to 10 minutes-ish just to get to the interstate. So some other honorable mentions here, if you're looking in the townhouse like the 300s price range thalia wayside is a great uh, townhouse neighborhood it's very close to king's grant close to little neck and also close to town center it's just off of virginia beach boulevard and i i over right here there it is also princess Anne plaza which is going further towards the Haven mall uh <clears throat> just west of there there's some great spots in there in the 300s price range uh flood insurance can be an issue and there's some specific spots that i think are places i would be careful about but for the most part, I love Princess Anne Plaza for the functionality and location. And going further west from there is Windsor Woods and Windsor Oaks, which is over towards Mount Trashmore. Really sneaky spot. Oh, like upper threes and low to mid fours in this area. And you can walk to Mount Trashmore in some spots. Great accessibility to town center and the, the interstates. Love that. And also Kempsville Lake, which is also in the same general section. Close to Princess Anne Road, there's Kempsville Lake right here. More townhouses that can, if you want in the upper 200s and low 300 price range. I like this area a lot too for the accessibility accessibility. And if you're looking over in Great Neck, a general idea is I would focus, if you're trying to stay under five, uh, I would focus again more on the south, southern part of the of the, the area, closer to Laskin Road and the Hilltop, because as you go further south, generally speaking, you'll get cheaper prices, but if, as long as you get away from the water. So if you have any more questions about relocating to Virginia Beach or the Hampton Roads area as a whole, let me know. This is what I do. I love helping people relocate to the area. So if you have any questions, I have my contact information in the description. You can reach out at any point and I'll do whatever I can to help you relocate to the area. And you can also check out more videos here uh, to learn more about the Hampton Roads area. And I will see you on the next video.